Hi, I'm Christina. Um, I'm one of the Royal Cloth um, members or, you know, leaders inside Royal Cloth. So I just wanted to come before you guys with a live video um, just to share about the goodness of God in loving nature. Um, and I'm going to give a testimony about the goodness of God. Um, I'm just going to share with you this beautiful, beautiful view. Look at that. God is wonderful. Look at this. Beauty, 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 okay? Beauty, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Everything is beautiful. God is beautiful, okay? Look at them clouds. Look at this environment. Look at the reflection. Look at the reflection on the waters. Beautiful, beautiful. God is wonderful and he is worthy to be praised, okay? Beautiful. All this is beauty. Beauty, 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 beauty. So we have to make sure that we take the time out in our day to give God the glory, to give God the praise, to give God the honor because he is worthy to be lifted up. I thank God for this type of environment where I am able to find peace, where I'm able to, he's able to talk to me through the waters, through the birds, through the chirping, through the clouds, through the skies, through the sun. Okay. Um, a lot of you guys may have a very, very hard time listening, but if we go back to Genesis, God created the earth, right? And before he created humans or us or Adam and Eve, right? I had to think about that. Wait, I said Adam first, right? Okay, yes. Adam and Eve, he created, you know, the environment. He subdued the environment first. So what he was talking to me about yesterday, you know, sometimes we get frustrated and overwhelmed because we can't even, we don't even know how to enhance the very thing that he created first. You know, what did he create first? You know, the water, you know, the seas, the plants, the environment. So sometimes if you get frustrated throughout your day, if you get overwhelmed, just go back to the first thing he created. Just look at the environment, look at the water, look at the birds, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. There's so much peace in the in the um in this type of environment. There's so much joy. There there's so much, you know, before your problems can be wiped away, you know, there your your whatever is on your mind, whatever's on your heart can be uplifted by just taking time out to enjoy the very things that he created first before he created you. All right. So if you're looking to hear from God in a new level, if you're looking to hear from God, you know, beyond, you know, you want to increase your hearing, you know, it's very important to look at the very thing that he created, which is nature. He speaks to me and a lot of people that I'm connected with um, in the royal claw. Praise God. That was beautiful. So he just spoke to me now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You know, this is not even a joke. Like, you know, God is out here. He's out here through the butterflies. He's out here through that bird. He's out here through the waters that keeps that keeps um going back and forth. He's listening and he's very, very pleased with this um with this with this scope, with this broadcast. So um <clears throat> you know, we just want to make sure that we just um taking the time out to acknowledge God and all his greatness and all his joy. Um, whew, this is very overwhelming. This is very, very overwhelming. But, um, you know, he's out here through everything. You know, he might not, you know, you might not be able to hear him the way that you want to hear him. You know, you might not understand him. We won't understand God the way that, you know, he want us to understand him to that fullest capacity. But I believe if we go back to the very thing that he created, which was in the book of Genesis in the beginning, what he created was the before he created us, then we can understand him a little bit better. We can he can open up our ears when we go back to that first thing. He can open up our eyes when we go back to that first thing. So whoever is you know listening to this scope, whoever is listening to this broadcast, I pray that this will encourage you i pray that this will give you a new insight i pray that this will give you a new view and a new vision on seeking the lord in a new dimension seeking the lord besides being in that house being in that environment i hear the word shift you know shift 
we got to shift our environment, shift where we're standing at. Sometimes that house that we're in or that job that we're on is not the best environment to hear the Lord. You know, sometimes you have to shift into a new place and listen to his voice in a new dimension because he don't always speak the same. You know, sometimes he speaks a lot through to me through dreams. But in order for me to increase, in order for me to in, to grow, I have to first seek that first thing that he created and say listen God you know I need to hear you in a new di- you're talking to me in a new dimension he said Christina I'm talking to you in a new dimension dimension what does that mean he speaks to me in the clouds when you look at clouds typically that's all you think you see is clouds but trust me there are more than clouds there's faces in these clouds look in the bible there's faces in these clouds I don't just see clouds I see messages, I see faces, I see smiles, I see hearts, I see, you know, something beyond just what is there. Um, I'm seeing a face right now. I'm seeing a couple of faces. And and the, the best thing about it is that, you know, they all pretty much look the same. So it's confirmation that God doesn't change. You know, it's just for us to open Allow him to open up your spiritual eyes to in order, in order to be able to see and receive him. You know, even when the wind blows, you know, is a language in the wind. Even when the the water goes back and forth, there's a language there. There's a language when the birds are the birds around you. There's a language when the butterflies are flying past you. There is a language for everything. And, you know, and it's, and it's also like when God told Adam to, um, you know, to name the animals. Did you ever think when he named the animals, there was something there that's saying, okay, name this, that. And then God confirmed it because God knows, God knows everything. Like, it's so beautiful. So, you know, I just wanted to get this testimony. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Just this testimony on to encourage someone to shift, to love your environment, and to allow God to speak to you in a new dimension, all right? In order to grow in your spiritual life, in order to grow, you know, with your, you know, with God, we have to know that when he increases Things shift, things change, it don't stay the same. If he speaks to me through dreams all the time, he's not going to give me everything through a dream because he wants, when I'm out on the field, he wants me to learn him through the spirit. He wants me to learn him through my heart, through my ears, through my eyes. So we have to shift in order to hear what the verse, the voice of God is saying. So I hope this was a blessing to you guys. I hope that you find peace and joy in this scope. And I will try to do this again. All right, be blessed, and um, I pray that, you know, you continue to follow us on um, on Royal Cloth. I hope that you are enjoying, you know, the videos and the things that you are seeing, um, you know, with our ministry. We love you guys, um, and I hope that you, one day we have a building, we will have a building for you guys to join us. All right, peace and blessings. Bye.